Hello and welcome to worship. This is Vicar Lily from Faith Evangelical Lutheran Church, Walworth, Wisconsin. It is the seventh Sunday of Easter, and I'm happy you're with me. As we center our hearts and minds for worship, um, we're going to sing Awesome God twice through. Please join me. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Let us pray together the prayer of the day. O God of glory, your Son, Jesus Christ, suffered for us and ascended to your right hand. Unite us with Christ and each other in suffering and in joy, that all the world may be drawn into your bountiful presence. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading is from 1 Peter. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that is taking place among you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But therefore rejoice insofar as you are sharing Christ's sufferings so that you may also be glad and shout for joy when his glory is revealed. If you are reviled for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the spirit of glory, which is the spirit of God, is resting on you. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Discipline yourselves, keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary, the devil, prowls around, Looking for someone to devour, resist him, steadfast in your faith, for you know that your siblings in all the world are un undergoing the same kinds of sufferings. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A psalm reading for today is from 68, and you are welcome to read this one responsibly. Let God rise up. Let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, let the wicked perish before God. But let the righteous be joyful. Let them exalt before God. Let them be jubilant, jubilant with joy. Sing to God. Sing praises to his name. Lift up a song to him who rides upon the clouds. His name is the Lord. Be exultant before him. Father of orphans, the protector of widows, in God in his holy habitation. God gives the desolate a home to live in. He leads out the prisoners to prosperity, but the rebellious live in a parched land. O oh God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth quaked, the heavens poured down rain, at the presence of God, the God of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Rain in abundance, O oh God, you showered abroad, you restored your heritage when it languished. Your flock found a dwelling in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth, sing praises to the Lord. O rider in the heavens, the ancient heavens, listen, he sends out his voice, his mighty voice. Ascribe power to God whose majesty is over Israel whose power is in the skies. Awesome is God in his sanctuary, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Blessed be God. 
The Holy Gospel according to John, the 17th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all who have who give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world, and they were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word now they know that everything you have given me is from you, for the words that you gave to me I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those who you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. During a time of unrest in this country and our world, I am comforted by the readings for today. I feel a call for community and patience. In 1 Peter we read, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time, and cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Discipline yourselves, keep alert. And even when casting anxiety on our good creator, we still need to be honest with our mental health these days. I believe God puts people and practices in our lives to aid us. The month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month. We need to take care of ourselves even better in a pandemic. CDC advises us that we need to pause, to breathe, to notice how we feel, take breaks from COVID-19 content, and make time to sleep and to exercise. We need to continue to reach out Stay connected and seek help if we are overwhelmed or unsafe. Our gospel reads, uh, reading ends with a prayer that our Savior prays for us and for God's children of all time and place. Reminding us that even when we don't have the words, we know that God already knows what we need. As Jesus says to the Father, Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me so that they might be one as you, as we are one. We are one in Christ, and we are one in community. We are the church, yesterday, today, and all of the tomorrows. We still have good news, even in this Lenten feel of this final Sunday of Easter. This weekend is the unofficial opening of summer, and we remember and honor people who have died while serving in the U.S. military. I remember fondly growing up while playing my flute in the marching band, at the Memorial Day parades, and paying my respects in a public manner in Orfordville and Footville, Wisconsin. Though we won't be experiencing ceremonies the same way this year, the day is still to be celebrated, and the deaths remembered and the people named. I invite you to think of the red poppy, a symbol of Memorial Day. It is said that in war-torn battlefields, the red poppy is one of the first plants to grow. Its seeds scattered in the wind and set, they sat dormant in the ground, only germinating when the ground was disturbed, as if by wars. I pray that there are poppies growing in your lives today, a light in the darkness, some good mixed with the bad, some hope amongst the suffering, the flower grows from destruction. We remember our fallen soldiers, and we hold their families close today. 
Amen. We sing together, all in all. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Taking my sin, my cross, my shame. Rising again, I bless your name. You are my all in all. When I fall down, you pick me up. When I am dry, you fill my cup. You are my all in all. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus. Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all those in need. O oh God, call your people to be one as you are one. Unite your church in the truth of your gospel, the love of our neighbor, and the call to proclaim your reign to all people. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Breathe life into your creation. Guide your people as we explore the mysteries of the universe. We pray for the work of scientists and mathematicians whose skill enriches our understanding. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Make your justice known among the nations of the earth. Protect the vulnerable. Redirect those whose violence and greed are used as weapons. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Come to the aid of your children. We pray for those engulfed in grief, who are without supportive families, and for all those who are isolated, powerless, or afraid, that all may rest their anxieties in your care. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Strengthen and encourage those in public health services and in the medical profession, caregivers, nurses, attendants, doctors. As well, we want to name the house keepers and the custodians and all those who commit themselves to caring for the sick and their families. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Give courage to all who embark on new ventures. We especially remember this day for those who have risked their lives to serve in our armed forces. Grant safety to those serving at home or abroad and assure them of your never failing strength. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Raise all your saints to eternal life. Until that day, we give you thanks for the faithful examples of those who have listened to your voice and now rest in you. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. With bold confidence in your love, almighty God, we pray for all for, all, all for whom we pray into your eternal care. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together with all time and space the Lord's Prayer, the prayer that we've been taught by Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please receive this blessing. May the one who brought forth Jesus from the dead raise you to new life, fill you with hope, and turn your mourning into dancing. Almighty God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Christ is risen just as he said. Go in peace, share the good news. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. See you next week.